Richard Herbman, City of Airdrie, down at the Kingsway Dog Park on the 9th of August, 2016. And you can see here, we're inches, inches from a super highway and a service road. The dogs get out here. The family swerves to miss the dog and we got human death, dog death and injuries. The city of Airdrie, what's your responsibility? The history behind this gate was the 28th of January 2015, almost two years ago. My dogs were six months old and this tensioner spring was loose. We had no latches. The wind blew that gate open. The dogs came in that end of the dog park. Dog got out. Lindsay, the border collie. Come here, Lindsay. Lindsay. This border collie was six months old then. You see now that she's very obedient. And not only on the highway, but got into the Airdrie Police Station, the RCMP Station, uh, and uh, under the, the care of Constable Maury Karch. 28th of January 2015. I told him the gates were broken. Maury Cart said, I don't care. I don't care. I had to pay him 55 bucks to get my Lindsay back. Then he hands my wife, Suzanne Carew, a dog ticket for 250 bucks. Now section 1001 of the city bylaw 788 the same bylaw where they've said my dog's been running at large says no person or corporation shall negligently or willfully cause a gate to be left open and therefore cause a dog to run at large. So when the tensioner springs are broken and there's no latches and no signs saying keep the gate closed, is the city negligent? Is the city liable? Now in March, I delivered Mayor Brown, that's March of 2015, a letter saying I would sue the city unless they fixed the gate and withdrew the ticket. They came down and replaced the tensioner springs, but didn't install latches, didn't withdraw the ticket, and still haven't put up signs saying Keep the gates closed.